Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond, and in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of Secrets of the Lost Station by Chris Batarlis and Jim Sammartino. This is a huge game published by Everything Epic Games. It's a dungeon crawler, a sci fi game, has lots and lots of stuff inside. So, this might take a while. So, grab yourself a snack or a drink, sit down, relax, and let's take a look at what's in the box. So here we go, The Secrets of the Lost Station, everything epic, an epic experience by Chris Batarlis and Jim Sammartino. And this is such a big box. Look at that, and it's heavy. It is so heavy. And look, the art is pretty cool. You have, oh, can't even lift it like that. You have this art, hello there, <laughs> with uh, the space station, of course and some ships and it continues here it's hovering over this planet and uh, you've got some cool art on the sides as well look at that dude this dark looking woman and this one also looking cool so oof on the back of the box <laughs> we've got a game in progress with the uh, tiles that you can explore, the standees, uh, the player boards here. Looks pretty cool. Lots of tokens and a little bit of a text. And it's it's kind of like a spiritual successor to the Secrets of the Lost Tomb, but this is of course in space. The contents here, lots and lots of uh, standees and rooms. And the cards, of course, dice. There's a whole lot of stuff in there. So, let's open it up and check it out. Okay, stop. Read this first. Greetings, fellow explorer. You'll need to set aside a few components to unlock, unlock later in the storyline. Locked cards. All right, I'll need to keep those separate then and not spoil them because I want this unboxing to be spoiler free. And uh, so campaign content, locked content. Oof. Oh, look at that. Look at that art. <laughs> A whole lot of different characters there. Looking very epic. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That's really nice. All right, so what do we need to put aside? Hidden behind campaign content separator cards. Okay, then we should be fine. Cool. Rules of play. That is quite a thick rule book. But has a nice table of contents. We've got the components here listed uh, how to set up the game in 13 steps the explorer setup and look at that board i kind of like that looks interesting gameplay overview scenario guide explorer phase station phase navigating the station Abilities and items. This is the midsection. <laughs> Companions, items, station systems. There's a whole lot of stuff to explore here. Different kind of creatures. Performance checks. This is starting to look like a full-fledged RPG right here. <laughs> okay, cool. Combat, ranged combat, oblivion. Playing the campaign and exploring the galaxy. Wow. Cosmic encounters. Ah, and an index. See, I love to see this. With a, especially with a book this thick, with all these rules, you're really going to want an index so you can look up some of these terms that you'll probably need a lot. And an overview on the back. Well done. 
Well done. That is very, very convenient. Yes. Okay. What's next? We've got another print, another card. And this is a station ability board and a scenario guy. So this is basically a, a board for the to keep track of things that happen during the game. All right. And I love how all of these have these cool prints on the back. <laughs> Oblivion. Okay. <laughs> this looks interesting. <laughs> wow. Another board. More Oblivion. It looks the same. Okay. So we have two of those then. I guess they can connect. And then we have all these cards and we have this. So let's take a look at that first. Wow, so many, so many, <laughs> so many cards. Okay, gravity well. Okay, so these are kind of like mission cards with updates and special rules that happen and when the mission succeeds. Yeah, okay. So we got a lot of those. So wow, there's, there's a whole bunch of undiscovered things, missions. All right, let's put that over here. Then we got these character cards that are on your board, basically, with your stats. I guess this is where you track your stamina, your audacity, and your courage with the cubes that we'll see later. And these are color-coded, so you have blue, yellow, red, and green, which I suppose are these cubes that are put on top of that. And uh, they are double-sided here. He's wounded. I see. You've got Balthazar. He's a Draconian. Also, also wounded. Nakatomi, another human. Uh, Phionix. She's a Seraphic. Cool. <laughs> Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia, <laughs> she's a starling, okay, we have Selena, an ancient, okay, Commander Chris, <laughs> I see what you did there, Chris, with the hat, with the fedora, of course, <laughs> and Ninjace, Cool. Human, well, it kind of looks like a cyborg, unless that's some kind of exosuit. T.I.M. There are those who call me Tim. A cybermorph. Bray Dell, a seraphic. Cool. The station, of course. Really cool. And on the back, damaged. And we're back to start. So here we have two really nice looking D6s, basically uh, swirly gray, nice marbled gray with uh, blue dots. We've got some uh, stands here for all sorts of standees. They're transparent, so they won't cover any of the art. And of course, these cubes that we saw to keep track of these stats. All right, just put that back. Then we got these booklets. Look at that. For every character here, we have a, an entire booklet with a reference on the back. Oh my gosh, never seen anything like this. Oh, you can keep track of the stuff. Or are these simply the pages? No, it looks like you can actually memory recall reveals and you can indicate that and marking these off. Wow. Okay. With the whole backstory. Okay, and these are the reveals. I don't want to read those. Wow. So they all have a whole, yeah, backstory basically that you unlock. So Balthazar has that. Yep. So 35 of these reveals. Cool. That is amazing. That adds so much lore to the story and so much. Oh, that's, that's super cool. 
That is really cool. One for each of them. Oof. Does the station have one? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Wouldn't make sense. Oh, well, you know, you never know. <laughs> All right. So then we have some stacks of cards. Creature damage track. Yeah, I, can, I guess I can take a look at these. All right, so let's quickly take a look at these. So this is a creature damage track which has one, two, three, four, five, six on it and on this side. And I guess you can just put these on top of each other. You have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Kind of looks like this is what you're supposed to do. Maybe you put a cube on this or something or some kind of tracking token. <laughs> it's interesting to make that out of cards, but yeah, I guess. Uh, so we have a bunch of those. We have training grounds and objective and scenario triggers. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it goes on and on. So I guess these are mission objectives then. And there's 34 of those cards. All right, not going to read those, but you, you get the point. All right, there. Oh, no, it continues. <laughs> there's more, but wait, there's more. Yeah, just continues with 35. And it just goes all the way up. Oh, my gosh, to 92. 92 of these mission cards. Look at that stack of cards. Can you imagine? Atch Peel Chris told me that if you play this with a group like once a week, you have like two years worth of game right here. <laughs> it's a lot of game nights. Oh my gosh. Then we have these cards. So, see, it tells here, a creature standees are locked until its creature card unlocks. Each of the decks pictured are already in order, okay, with locked content hidden behind campaign content separated cards. When you box the game, unlock all cards up to the first separated card in each deck. All remaining cards are locked and should be set aside. Okay, now well, we can check them up until the first separator. All right, so we got these cards. And here's the lady who's on the box and on the book as well. So we have, you know, a card with some art. Really nice. Some apparently an attack here. The name. There's a number there, some numbers here, and they all have this back. So, you know, there's just a bunch of cards, really nice artwork. And that goes on until you reach a campaign content card called Machinations. And then you don't, you don't continue. So I'll leave that aside for now. And here's another deck again, same thing. Important, read first. The three mini card packs included need to be sorted and separated before play into four ordered and numbered decks. Got explorer abilities, items, station systems, and companions. Cards are numbered on the front or back, bottom left corners. Except campaign or unlocked cards. All right, let me just take a quick look. All right, so I took all of those three mini packs out of the shrink wrap and sorted them. They are in the right order. All you need to do uh, is basically um see where one deck ends and the next one begins that's basically it so the first one here all the way on the left says the explorer abilities well that's these cards with this uh, golden trim here so you got for the characters for these explorers jack holden and balthazar and nakatomi the characters that we saw they have a level one and a level two side to their cards and these are numbered uh on the back i think yeah this has a one here in the lower corner it's really small but you can see there, there's a one, and this one has a two. There it is. So just, you can use these up until the core game locked content. When you unlock that, you get more cards, and then you have uh, campaign content, and more locked content, and it goes on like that. So these are all these golden trim cards all the way to the end, so you keep those apart. And they won't fit in here, so I'm going to put them here. Second deck is the items with the uh, bronze kind of back. So these all have this back. Well, almost all of them. So it was kind of hard to find where this deck ends because the last ones, I'll really quickly show you, has this. So it looks like this is part of a bigger picture. 
So those belong here as well. They have the bronze trim. So this starts with the one on the front. You can just see the cards. These had them on the back. These have them on the front. It's very easy to see. So it's one, two, three, etc. So you can use all of these cards up until core game locked content. And the rest is locked behind this. Again, with the white and the red cards that will unlock as you go. And the final card will have number 52. Okay, so these are 52 cards right there. Put that in here. Then we have these companions. Companions all have this, all of them. So no worries, you'll find these easily. They're already stacked in the right order. Again, starting with the one going all the way through 56. And the first ones, you know, these characters, there's Robot, Darwin, Ancients. And I don't think, well, there, there are. The most of these aren't locked and all the way up until card 45, then you get locked content. So that's where you stop. So no worries there. This fits in this nice little slot underneath the big ones. So the monster cards that we already saw here. All right. So I'll put those on top of that. And then finally, we have this deck, which is the station systems. They also all have the same back. So that's also very easy to figure out. And they also start with a one and they end with number 37. Okay. And this one just, there's just one Darwin card and then it already stops you with the locked content. So plenty of cards there as well. So I can actually safely stack that on top of this because of the backs. It's easy to uh, sort those out. But since they were in three shrink wraps instead of four, you kind of had to sort them yourself. All right, then we have a huge bag of these cool looking dice. Let's take one out and take a closer look. So these are all D12 dice with these, these symbols on them. You have this dangerous symbol, have these laser guns. We have these arrows and blanks. That's pretty cool. They all have that. There's a whole lot of them. Look at that. I imagine you're going to be rolling a lot of those. <laughs> it's really cool. So that is the first tray. All right. Let's take that out. It's already a whole lot of cards, a whole lot of content right there. Oof. All right. So we have some uh, foam here to fill out the box. For safety, we have this board and that, that's pretty interesting. So this is a station track and it seems you can put tokens in here, which you then can flip out easily because of the uh, indenture here. And you have all these numbers from one to 40. So, okay, that's interesting. Keeps track of something. And these are the player boards. So this is pretty cool. You put your player card in here. Let me show you. So you have your card. Put it in here and then you use those colored cubes. Oh, I'm just going to show you how that works. I mean, you can, you get the idea, but uh, I just want to put them in. <laughs> so we have the green cube, you know, your track starts there. A red, I need red. So we have a red cube over there, yellow cube over there and a blue cube over here. And that just, that just works really nicely. You know, if you bump this around, nothing's going to happen. And you can just keep track of your audacity here and your, your stamina. It's basically your health. And then, you know, when you're wounded, you flip it around and you have to set these to their, I guess, their starting positions. So uh, that's pretty cool. I, I really like how that looks and how that works. All right, so just let me put these back. There we go. So you get, let's see, quite a few of those actually. Look at that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can play up to six players simultaneously. And it also has these slots for putting cards. You can put cards here. That's pretty cool. Let's just see how big that is. That's pretty tight. So I guess sleeving won't work. This is pretty tight. Or, you know, if you sleep and you just put them underneath. But uh, yeah, really nice. 
Ooh, we get Ziploc bags. Thank you so much, Everything Epic, for including Ziploc bags because I can imagine there's going to be some tokens here. The big Ziploc bags for the standees, perhaps. One, two, three, four large Ziploc bags. Ah, ah, ah. And we have, let's see, five, six, eight of these medium sized Ziploc bags. The scenario guide. This is also something that makes this box so heavy. <laughs> oh my God, this is a, this book. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this book. This is, this is an entire novel. <laughs> this, I mean, everything epic lives up to its name. That's, that's all I can say. So you have, oh wow, you can see if your mission was a success. And this, well, this feels like it's dry erase, but this isn't. <laughs> Alternate reality control used. Okay. In the red box. The core campaign. Year 3019 CE. Mm, okay. Well. Gives you an overview. There's, there's quite a lot of reading to do here. Oof. <laughs> Station events. Mystery of the Paladin. So that is like... Yeah, okay. So these are missions. So you start with the training grounds. That kind of teaches you the game, right? Scenario, look at that. Is, this is... Oh my gosh. Here you can see the station uh, uh, track in action. Oh my gosh. I'll be 80 before I finish this. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god, look at that. That is wow. Whew. Okay then. The scenario book. <laughs> Oof. Right. Tokens. <laughs> we got a punch board. Nice shiny tokens. Minus ones and minus fives, and they're gold. Same on both sides. Oh, yes, of course. The tiles, the puzzle tiles that make the map and the standees. Ooh. I have these goblinoid creatures, this big one here. Station, and on the front, of course, you have all the different rooms. Cool, cool, cool. More standees and more room tiles. And this is 10 of 18. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's 15 of 18. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is insane. Here we have these round tokens that you put on the station track and the minus 10 tokens as well. More of these character standees and more tiles. Okay, more tokens. I'm going to be punching a lot of tokens later. There's even a standee for the station itself and all these cool looking characters. There's Chris. <laughs> all right, some more. Another station. Look at the, those uh, rooms are really cool. The artwork. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Oh, look at these ghostly looking uh, standees. Different rooms there, different colors. Okay, now we have this. Here are the ship, ships, two ships. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and all of these nice looking tokens here for 18 of 18. More rooms, so much stuff. Hmm. 
Very cool. It's going to be a huge station to explore. And it just keeps on going. Cool. The bridge, the hangar bay, storage bay, the airlock. And finally, the final four research lab, choir chamber, sleep compartments, tomb, power, portal. Ooh. Oof. Well, I guess I'll be punching cardboard for a bit. <laughs> so that was everything that's in the box. I'm going to have to figure out how to put all of that back inside again. So uh, that were, that was everything that was in this giant box. All right. So I punched everything, put it all in the Ziploc baggies. Here's a quick reboxing. So I've put the tray with all the cards on the bottom, having sorted out all of these into uh, uh, three stacks, well, four stacks, actually, um, the smaller ones. So I've put all of these in here. I put a little bit of um, foam core just as a divider here between these two cards. All the dice go here. This is just where it was, basically. So that's uh, quite easy. Uh, I've put these on. I mean, could put some tokens here as well if I wanted, but uh, just to show you that everything fits. Put that here. Put these guards here just where I found them. So this is all basically as you found it in the box. So then I put the huge scenario guide on top of that to keep all the cards in place. That's quite heavy. Then we got some of these uh, sheets. So I put that on top of that so it won't get damaged nice and flat on top of the book. Here is the sheet that told me how to divide everything. So we did the cards. Um, this is just, you know, these ships is just basically a big punch board. So I put that in a big Ziploc bag with all the unique characters. So this has all the unique standees that are not numbered, along with the ships and the battle stations. And this giant bag has all the numbered standees. So as you can see, these all have numbers. I just put them all together. I mean, I do not have any means to sort them right now. I might build some kind of insert to sit on top of this to have everything in its own slot someday, but uh, not for a while anyway. And then I um, took all of these tiles that they list here that need to be separated. And I put those together in a separate bag and the rest of the tiles in a separate bag. So I'll put this here. So you'll see I've got a bag here with regular tiles, the ones that I can just use right away. And the ones that had, you know, were listed here, let me see, this is an escape pod. All of those are in a separate bag. So I'll put these in the top here because then I can put all of these player boards underneath. And don't worry, I'm pushing a bit, but it does fit. It's mostly the air in the bag that's pushing back just a bit. But this does, at least last time when I did it, <laughs> that does fit in the box. All right. So then uh, I took these, I just put that on top, spread them out a bit. Uh, or actually I put these because this is a bigger bag here next to these. I put this one on top. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller like so. There we go. So that goes here. And now it's just a matter of, you know, taking all of these baggies with the tokens and uh, basically filling in the gaps here and just spreading the rest out. So it's a bit of a chaotic way to put everything back, but at least it fits and it's all sorted into separate bags. I do, did have to grab a couple of smaller bags for some of these because I didn't know where else to put them, I couldn't separate them. And then on top of all that, I just put this because that is bigger than the player board. So it couldn't fit next to these uh, station tiles. Just put it on top of that. So I just left out these after I punched everything and it does fit. It takes a little bit of managing. I can put the rule book on top. Let's see if this isn't too big <laughs> for the lid now. So let's uh, try that out. Let's put the foil 
in here nicely as I like to do. And put that, it's a big test, so I have to push it a little bit, but there we go. It does indeed fit really nicely, actually. So there you go. And fortunately, it is a big and sturdy box. It's a thick cardboard box, so it won't collapse easily. And there you go. Completely flush. Everything is in the box. So that was my unboxing of Secrets of the Lost Station by Everything Epic Games. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Please also consider becoming a Patreon saint to my channel by clicking the link in the description below or the Patreon icon at the end of this video. If you want to help me and support my channel and what I do, you can do so for as little as just $1 a month. You'll get your name in the credits of all of my videos and you'll get access to some Patreon exclusive videos as well. It is greatly appreciated and really helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.